There is some good news for tens of thousands of people in Westmoreland County who were under a mandatory water conservation notice. That mandate to conserve water is now voluntary. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Smith and I'm Christine Sorensen. So this means if businesses forced to close yesterday can reopen their doors and people in their homes can use water with a little more ease. Christine D'Antonio has the latest. The power is back up at the Indian Creek water treatment plant in Connellsville, but it's only a temporary fix. We now have uh, limited capacity at the plant, so we're able to pump now, just not to our full capacity. It's still good news for the 107,000 municipal authority of Westmoreland County customers who depend on it. A 4,000 volt power surge that knocked out the power substation at the Indian Creek water treatment plant on Sunday forced a mandatory water conservation notice for customers. The Indian Creek plant was affected, but so was the Beaver Run system because it helped supplement water. Crews work throughout the day and night to repair what they can right now to get power back and to get water levels back to a place where the conservation notice is now voluntary. The switch to a voluntary water conservation means that you can freely shower, wash your dishes and your clothes, but the municipal authority is asking that you still be aware of how much water you're using and you can't do everything. We we'll still ask them not to water their lawns, wash their cars, uh, any of that, any of those items, just the essential cooking, hygiene, the essential uses that they need to get through the day. At this point, the timetable for the permanent repairs isn't known. A consulting engineer is on site today figuring out what's needed, but the high voltage equipment that was destroyed has to be specially made. Kakura says he's thankful that people have listened to the restrictions and that a surge protection system allowed the situation from being worse. Because those fuses and breakers did what they were supposed to do, we were able to make these temporary repairs and get back up and running relatively quickly. Christine D'Antonio, KDKA TV News.